All right, everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can install the Ocular Migraine on your headset without it being in developer mode and without needing a computer. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to the browser and we're going to search for the Ocular Migraine GitHub. I typed that in and APK came up, so I'm just going to, we can just do that. The first one that comes up should be this one, the Ocular Migraine Dev Mode Master Control Program. You can see it's from GitHub. Click on that. Wait for that to load. Go down to see where it says releases. Click on the latest release right there, which is this one. Page should load. I don't know why it's taking a long time. Now scroll down, click on the oculormigraine.apk, and it will save the file. You'll see it over here. Okay, it completed. Okay, we can close this now. Now, Fire, uh, we're going to go to uh, the Meta Store, and we're going to do a search for an app called Mobile VR Workstation. You can see I, I already searched for it. It's three words, Mobile VR Workstation. And here it is. Click on that. Now, install it. If you haven't, it's free. I already have it installed, so I'm going to click on Start. All right, now once it loads up, go to the bottom where it says Android Fixes Configuration Wizard and click on that. And then click up where it says Show All Options, click on that. And then click up here where it says See Missing Downloads, Configure Manage All Files, click on that. And then click on You Should Read This, Open Files All, click on that. Now this will pop up. And this you'll see the Ocular Migraine APK, but if we click on it here, it fails, right? So first what you have to do is you have to click on these three little lines right in the upper left-hand corner of this window. Then click on your Quest. I'm using the Quest 3. Then go over here and click on Download. Then click on the Ocular Migraine. Boom! Now it'll let you install it. Click on Install and wait. All right. Now click on Open. You want to click on Open for sure. We can close this one on the left, this one on the right. All right, close all other open windows. Otherwise, the settings window may be hidden. Okay, we're going to click here to continue. You must scroll down to settings, click on it, then open, then click on open to open the Android settings. Click here to continue. So we'll click on this. It'll show us all the apps that are installed. Uh, we're going to scroll down. First, actually, we can close this one over here. We're going to scroll down to settings because we can't open it directly anymore. Uh, we have to do this roundabout way. Find settings. It's going to be the, it's this top one. It's not the black icon. It's this icon up here. Click on it. Then click on open. All right. Now we can that these are the settings. We can close this over here. We're going to scroll all the way down to about headset. Click on it till it opens the screen. Scroll down till you see build number and click on build number four or five or six times until it says you're a developer. Watch this. All right, now if we click on the back arrow up here uh, and we go to system, we should see developer. Boom, developer options. Click on developer options. Now scroll down to where it says uh, wireless debugging. Right here, wireless debugging. It's the only one with this like line next to it. Click on wireless debugging uh, and click on this right here and it'll ask us, click on, it says allow wireless debugging on this network. Always allow. All right. Now here's what we're going to do. Keep both of these open. Uh, we're going to click on pair device with pairing code. Click on that. And now we're going to click here on this one that says start pairing. All right. It wants the pairing code. In this case, 831. 067. And then it's going to ask for the port number, and that is the number at the end of the IP address. So don't put in the IP address, put in the, the number that comes after the colon. So 36423. And this will be different every time. It's never the same. All right, successfully paired. Now just wait.
So for some reason, this is lagging. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. So you can hit the the B button for back. I'm going to turn wireless debugging off, and then I'm going to turn it back on. And we're going to pair this again. In case this happens, I'm going to keep this in here. Pairing code, start pairing. 894, 633. And then in this case, the port is 44083, 44083. Okay, it was successful. We had to wait. Okay, allow always from this computer. So what you want to click on. All right, so now we have successfully installed the Ocular Migraine. We do still have to configure it. Oh, let me click on this. What do we got? Okay. Yeah, so we'll close this app. And now we will go into... Let's see. We'll go into... Uh, here, you, could, you should still be able to see the Ocular Migraine here. If not, you can click on this. And you'll see the... You should have the unknown sources, so you can click on it here or click on it down here. And there's still some things we have to do. All right, so click up here. I think we need to add something. We do want to do this. Um, say allow here. And close that. And let's see. We can go to miscellaneous and go to battery optimizations and click on all apps, click on the ocular migraine and set it to don't optimize because otherwise it may not, it needs to stay monitoring what your, what your launches are so that it can apply your custom profiles. Click on done. And then we close this and we can click on notification settings on uh, the ocular migraine, click on that. Scroll down and turn all of these off individually. They're not they're not needed. I mean, you can keep them on if for some reason you really want to, but they're not useful. Okay, so we got that. Uh, file access permission. I like to turn this on here. And let's turn it off. Let's hit disable and then fire it back up. And we shouldn't, I don't think we'll get any error messages or settings issues. We'll see. Okay, that's something else. Anyhow, um, it's installed. It is installed now. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions, join uh, my Discord server. I'll put the links in the video description. Uh, otherwise, uh, have fun. All right. Thanks for watching.